Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> West Troop, and I am back this week with another trending topic show. That's right, we're going to talk about what news went down in the Disney parks, and also maybe a possible rumor that's been going around the interweb. So we're going to kick it off with that, and then we'll get to the news. Here we go. <laughs> Rumors have been going around lately about the Tron Light Cycle Coaster, which of course, if you haven't seen the episode that I did about it, uh, go back and see it. That was about a year ago that we talked about that ride. But a popular, it is a popular attraction at Shanghai Disneyland, and it could be heading for Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom, and possibly even Disneyland. But we're going to talk about uh, Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland right now because it's more rumored about going there. A previous rumor hinted that Disney would be closing the Tomorrowland Speedway, and it's possible that the Tron Coaster could take its place. If the potential coaster is similar to the one in Shanghai, it will feature motorbike-style seats and an outdoor area. Other renovation rumors, of course, for Tomorrowland include this Wreck-It Ralph attraction and an update to the Carousel of Progress. Well, I would be down for the Tron Light Cycle because... Surprisingly, I've never gone on the Tomorrowland Speedway. <laughs> I've gone on Autopia, but I've never done the Tomorrowland Speedway. I think that's the only thing I've never done at the Magic Kingdom. And I just really don't have the... Uh, I really don't have a reason to. <laughs> I, it's not like, you know, I, I go... I know kids like the Speedway because they get to drive. For me, it's like I don't, I'd rather not wait in line to go around on a track and pretend to drive when I drive all the time, you know? So I think for a lot of adults are like, eh, screw the Speedway. <laughs> but, um, for, you know, I know a lot of kids like it. But, uh, for, in my opinion, I'd like, I'd much rather see the Tron Light Cycle take that space than the Speedway. <laughs> um, because it has no nostalgia for me at all. It's a gas guzzler and it just is a an eyesore in my opinion. But if you're a Speedway fan, then, you know, <laughs> I'll see you with your picket signs next time I'm in Tomorrowland. But anyway, uh, I think it's a good call. Um, they are planning on rebooting Tron. Uh, there's rumors about that too with Jared Leto as the star. And uh, I think now would be the time. Now is the time. <laughs> That's right. And... Uh, I'd be down for it. Uh, it's not like you're replacing... Well, I was going to say, it's not like you're replacing Tower of Terror, but Disneyland's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy ride did that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'd like, I'd like to see the Tron Light Cycle make its way to uh, Tomorrowland. All right, but we don't know if that's going to happen or not. It's just a rumor as of now. Heading over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, we have some actual news that is confirmed because they will be debuting a new preview at the One Man Dream Theater attraction. Beginning Friday, April 21st, guests can catch a 10-minute sneak peek of the much-anticipated Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales movie. On the other coast, you'll be able to catch the sneak preview in a 3D at the former Muppet Vision 3D Theater at Disney's California Adventure. I forget what that theater's called now. But uh, why, is, why are the Muppets not back by now? <laughs> I thought when the Frozen uh, show went out, uh, the uh, sing-along from that theater, that they'd put the Muppet Vision 3D back in at Disney's California Adventure. But what do I know? Uh, anyway, uh, you can catch the sneak preview at the One Man's Dream Theater at Disney's Hollywood Studios or Disney's California Adventure at the old Muppet Vision Theater. I think it's like the Hollywood Theater they're calling it now. It's Hollywood Land Theater, something like that. Anyway. All right, heading back to the Magic Kingdom. The Easter Bunny has arrived earlier this week. That's right. And he is now meeting guests on Main Street, USA. The character will only be around for a few days as he'll be hopping away after April 16th. So make sure if you want to meet the Easter Bunny in Walt Disney World, see him at the Magic Kingdom. 
as well as a lot of other stuff, obviously. <laughs> All right, speaking of the Magic Kingdom, it's hard to believe we're already talking about this, but Disney released dates for Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party, and 2017 is going to be a record-breaking year for the annual event, with more dates than ever before, expanding into August for the first time ever. Here's the full lineup of the dates. I'll, I'll read them out for you. I'll be nice this time. Usually I say find them yourself, but I'm in a good mood. All right. <laughs> August 25th and 29th, September 1st, 7th, 10th, 12th, 15th, 17th, 19th, 22th, 24th, 26th, and 29th. Bingo! Uh, October 1st, 3rd, 5th, 6th, 9th, 10th, 12th, 13th, 15th, 17th, 19th, 20th, 22nd, 24th, 26th, 27th, 29th, and 31st. <sighs> I hope you wrote all that down. Anyway, <laughs> that's what the rewinds button's for, right, everybody? Or, you know, just get out of the video and click back in it, and you'll get me another hit. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh... Oh, and November 1st. How about that? Uh, so if you're looking to plan on uh, trick-or-treating and uh, checking out all the tricks and the treats at Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, those are the dates to check it out. I love the Mickey's Halloween Party. Um, I would definitely go if I was down there. You know, I talk it up every year. I talk it up every year to go. So if you're down there, pay the extra whatever and check it out. All right. Speaking of how, of uh, parties, Disney also announced dates this week for the 2017 Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party as well. That's right. We're talking Christmas in the beginning of April uh, because it looks a lot similar to the years past. These dates, uh, I'll spit out the dates for you as well. Not as many as the Halloween party. Uh, let me take a deep breath. Okay. November 9th, 10th, 12th, 14th, 16th, 17th, 26th, and 28th, and December 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, 8th, 10th, 12th, 14th, 15th, 17th, 19th, 21st, and 22nd. That's right. Those are the days you can go to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Again, worth the price of the ticket, I believe. Um, I really enjoyed myself at the Christmas party. And speaking of the Magic Kingdom, we're only about a month away from the end of Wishes and the debut of the new fireworks show, Happily Ever After. And Disney's trying to get fans excited with a number of previews. This week's clip shows off some of the traditional hand-drawn animation that was created for the new show. So, of course, if you want to see that video, well, I'm not going to copyright infringement and put it on my page, but <laughs> you definitely can check it out. Somewhere on the internet. Somewhere on the internet, you can see the preview for Happily Ever After. All right, anyway. All right. <laughs> and still at the Magic Kingdom, we got a couple more stories. It's a big Magic Kingdom heavy week because the Festival of Fantasy Parade at the Magic Kingdom will begin running twice, beginning today and lasting through to April 20th, 2017. So if you want to check out the parade, you can do so at noon as well as the slightly later time of 3.30. Obviously, because they only have one parade now, so, you know, you want to make sure you catch it. Uh, I love the Festival of Fantasy Parade. I really was impressed by it last time I was there and saw it for the first time. So make sure you check it out if you are interested at either time. And though Stitch's Great Escape was open for four days this spring, from March 13th through the 17th, the attraction closed right back up afterwards. <laughs> However, it looks like Stitch will be back again starting next week. He keeps coming back. He's like hemorrhoids, I tell ya. With this Tomorrowland attraction now scheduled to operate from April 10th through the April 19th, before once again closing. <laughs> So Stitch's Great Escape is open once again until April 19th. If you are a fan of this ride, you're one of the few, <laughs> then uh, definitely check out the ride while you can, because do we know if it's going to close forever? It just might. You never know. All right, and speaking of closing uh, for a short time, 
It's tough to be a bug at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We'll be closed for a short refurbishment later this month, beginning April 23rd and lasting April 2 to April 29th. It's unknown what changes will be taking into effect as the attraction, uh, at the attraction, yeah, during the closure, but because of the short amount of downtime, it probably won't be anything too fancy. Uh, with these big openings at Disney's Animal Kingdom, Avatar Land, uh, or I should call it Pandora, the world of Avatar. It will be forever known as Avatar Land when I just randomly bring it up. But uh, they got to make sure everything looks spick and span. That's right. So, that, so if you're going, just know those few days, it's tough to be a bug. We'll be exterminated. No, not really. <laughs> All right. So... Just a few weeks after introducing a new photo pass option in front of the tangled restrooms at the Magic Kingdom, Disney has announced yet another prop-based photo opportunity, and that will be available after dark. Uh, that's right, they will. you can hold a toilet paper roll outside of the Japanese toilets. No, just kidding. All right. This time, the prop is a glowing lotus flower that guests can pose with in front of the China Pavilion each evening beginning at 7.30 p.m. I like these new little uh, nighttime photo ops. Uh, I think they're pretty neat. So just know, if you want to do another one at Epcot, you can do so at the China Pavilion with a lotus flower. Pretty cool, right? Speaking of Epcot, we have more news from there because Epcot guests are now able to purchase a souvenir refillable wine glass at the Wine Keller in Germany, the La Bottega Italiana in Italy, and Le Vins de France at France, obviously. Uh, yeah, I love when I have to speak other languages. I'm sure you guys are getting a laugh. For $5, including tax. That actually isn't a bad price. This glass can be refilled with a selection of still wines at any of the aforementioned locations. But each will cost the same as if you were to, pur to purchase a disposable cup filled with the wine. So... It's not like you're getting that much of a deal, but it still makes a great souvenir. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, take that for what it's worth. All right, and finally, heading over to Disney Springs. Opening April 10th, The Polite Pig also known as one of my exes, just kidding, is a unique new eatery owned by local Orlando chefs, James and Julie Pat Patrakis, I'm guessing, who are well known as the, sh yeah, they're well known, I don't know what their names are, as the chef owners of eateries, The Ravenous Pig, and Cask and Larder. The menu at this new location will include a variety of from the smoker entrees priced between $15 and $20 with selections like ribeye, a whole chicken, and baby back ribs. For those feeling a little bit frisky, I was going to say frisky, a little bit adventurous, a variety of sandwiches priced between $9 and $14 will also be available and will include a ribeye melt, blackened mahi, fried chicken, and a salmon BLT. Well, it sounds a little pricey. It sounds it should be called the, plur, the pricey pig. But <laughs> just kidding. It's not that bad. But, uh, you know, that sounds pretty interesting. Um, I, I'd be game to check it out, I guess. Um, so if you're interested in checking out this new restaurant, The Polite Pig, you can see it in Disney Springs. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another Trending Topics show next week, and we'll see what happened down in Disney Parks, as well as another Hitchhiking Host Show 101, where we'll talk about a certain Disney attraction's history. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash show. You can like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash show. Follow on the Twitter at His Show Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, do so over on Podbean, hitshowshow.podbean.com. Or you can search on iTunes or Stitcher under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Host Show. Until next time, don't forget to... Hurry back. Hurry back. For the next episode. See ya.